Republicans in Ohio saw that, uh, you know, I think it was something like six or 700,000 Ohioans signed a petition to put the decriminalization, legalization of abortion on the ballot. And the language of the, of the uh, proposed constitutional amendment, the, the language is, is very straightforward. Um, you know, uh, it, it talks about how uh, abortion may be prohibited after fetal bi viability, uh, but not in cases where a, treating, where a treating physician deems the procedure necessary to protect the life or health of the pregnant woman. Um, <clears throat> Republican Secretary of State Frank LaRose, who is an abortion opponent, he's a, a so-called right to lifer, although he's not really in favor of the right to life because he's a fan of more guns and, and, you know, well, you heard that rant in the previous hour. By the way, I made a mistake in the previous hour just to correct it. I, I, I want to make sure that if you listen to this program, if you watch this program, uh, what you walk away with, you can take to the bank that, you know, that anything I say is is double, triple checked and everything else. I said that uh, the, Judge Chutkin had set the date for Donald Trump's federal trial at March 5th, which is Super Tuesday. It's March 4th, which is the day before Super Tuesday. Just a, a correction uh, for the record. Okay, back to this abortion thing. So we've got this, this uh, uh, provision, and but on the ballot, there's a description of the proposed constitutional amendment. And Frank LaRose, the anti-abortion secretary of state, has changed the language. He took out the word fetus and replaced it with the words unborn child. He suggests or says in his language that basically you can abort a child at any point during the pregnancy, whereas what the law says is after viability, you have to have proof that it's a risk to the life of the mother. I mean, it's just, he basically turned it on its head. The measure says it seeks to establish, quote, a fundamental right to reproductive freedom within reasonable limits. But that's not what Frank LaRose writes, and that's not what Ohioans are going to vote on. What they're going to vote on is what seems like an unreasonable abortion amendment. He's also labeled it issue one. Now, What they have to be telling everybody is to is to you know vote on issue one here. To, uh, so now you know they they were just you know there was just this whole campaign telling people that you know not to not to change the re requirements for amending the constitution, and now they're having to tell people yes, go ahead and amend the constitution. So what w was a vote for measure one before? Um, I don't recall if it was yes or no. Sometimes these things are written in a way that reverses their meaning. But it's the opposite now. So all of that advertising about issue one has to be basically undone. I mean, basically what's happening here is that the Republicans in Ohio, the, 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 arguably the most corrupt Republican Party in the United States, their Speaker of the House just went to prison for corruption, that the Republicans in Ohio are trying to... to Pull, pull the wool over the eyes of Ohio's voters in the 2024 election. It's incredible.